I'm going to show you how to give energy to an induction smelter in thermal expansion. If you do want to use thermal, you can use something called a flux duct. And all you actually need to do is hook these up to any sort of energy cell that you may be using. Again, if you are using thermal expansion, this would be a redstone flux cell. And then you need to link that up to some sort of power generation, maybe with... Um, a dynamo, for example, if we used a, let's use a Sterling dynamo and um, the cell here. Now, what a Sterling dynamo does is this will use a burnable, burnable material to make energy. So I could just put in blocks of coal or coal in here and the Sterling dynamo will be putting energy into our redstone flux cell. You then want to make sure you go into configuration and put blue for input wherever the dynamo is incoming. Then we're going to get our flux duct and we're going to attach that to our induction smelter. Of course, here you can see it's not connecting. So go into your flux, um, your redstone flux cell and put orange to output. So blue is input on the left, orange is output on the right. So it's inputting energy, as you can see from blue, from the Sterling Dynamo on the left hand side. And it's outputting the energy into the flux ducts on the right, which are going into our induction smelter. Generally, the induction smelter will input the energy from any side without you needing to configure it. But we will have to input and output our actual um, items when we use it. But that is how you are going to give energy and power your induction smelter in thermal expansion.